Hi guys, Sherry here. So I've added a section to my um, web page for my art web page actually, and it's entitled Vortex Based Math. Now I've I've mentioned Vortex Based Based Math a lot in my readings, and um, so basically, you know, it's really helped me to understand the universe and how it works. So. I first discovered Marco back in, what was it, 2011, something like that. Um, and he discovered the matrix of the universe is made up by numbers. So this was the first video I watched of him. Um. Now it's a very lengthy video, it's about four hours long. So get some popcorn ready. And, you know, it's pretty heady uh, thing to watch. So you might have to watch it a couple of times. So, yeah, he's discovered the universe is made of numbers. And he explains how that works. So he has this um, uh, equation that he uses. And I'm not going to get into the details of it. But basically, um, you know, the universe is made up of nine numbers and then there's zero at the center here so zero is actually not a number it's a singularity uh, so the numbers um, when you're when you double and reduce numbers they create a pattern that you can actually follow and this creates um, an energy vortex that um, pulsates and it's that pulsing that creates life and matter. So I got pretty deep into it. I got deep into physics as well. So you can check out his webpage if you want. It, he explains how the numbers work in, in sequences. Really interesting stuff. So the thing that kind of drew me to the twin flame connection was actually this symbol right here. So this is the yin and yang, and you can see how, you know, these numbers are all set up in dualities and symmetry. And so this, this S here in the middle would actually be temperance um, in the yin and the yang. And you can see here how the three, the six, and the nine are very important numbers. So, yeah, the nine is the soul, and three or six could be the feminine or, feminine or masculine, whatever. So his, um, his equation, when you put it all into perspective, it's, it's actually a donut. Let's see if we can find some pictures here, images of it. So in this picture, you can see how um, Marco has assigned different colors to um, number sequences. So what I did was assigned colors to numbers. So I did a little experiment here, and I, I did this quite a few years ago, back in, I think, 2011. So I wanted to take his idea a little bit further. So what I did was um, I found the square root of numbers, and I kept on reducing that. So what is a square root? A square root is when, you know, you times one number by itself um, to get a number. So, for example, what's the square root of 100? 10 is the is a square root because 10 times 10 is 100. So, the square root of 2 has a unique sequence of numbers and it all reduces back down to 1 for every single number. 1 is always the last number. So I did this for several different numbers, uh, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, just to see what patterns would show up. And so I don't have my original file. So these are just um, pictures that I uploaded on Facebook. It took me three months to make these. <laughs> so... Um, now, originally, I had the color sequences 
a little skewed. Uh, number one should be red, but instead I signed it um, white. Uh, white is all colors together. Um, black is void of any color, so I signed zero to black. Um, and one white. Okay, so one should be red. And I actually tried to fix that, but um, we'll get into that later. So you can see here I actually tried to fix um, the sequence. But, you know, it doesn't really matter what the color sequence is. It's what it creates. So let me just zoom out a little here. Now, if you look at these pictures, you can see that there is a pattern that is kind of created like a swirling pattern of numbers that kind of swirl around um here's another good example over here you can see it kind of swirling around so numbers have an affinity for one another they, they tend to show up in in pairs um for example if you look over here um you can see that 44 and 88 clustered together. Um, what else? Over here we have like sequences of threes. Um, two and four like to cluster together as well. So I, I just found it really neat how you know, in order for something to come out of the singularity, um, out of zero, there is a, a very specific pattern that it follows. So let me just go back to this picture again. So I'm just going to change the hue saturation so you can see how the energy kind of flows through the numbers. So numbers are alive. And numbers aren't even, you know, numbers aren't real. They're, they're, it's just a, um, a concept that man created. Um, but, you know, it, it is the fingerprint print of God, basically. So, yeah, it, um, it's too bad that I've lost the original file for that. A lot of work put into it. So this is my rendition of the um, rodent coil. And so I've, again, I've signed a different color to each number. And you can see how each number kind of plays out in different sequences as it moves through this energy vortex. It has specific signatures. And what else do I have here? Oops. Oh, yeah. So, you know, like I said before, it doesn't really matter what colors I assigned to the numbers. It still produces a very specific pattern. So if you look here, you can see how the number one jumps every three rows. Right, and there a two is, seems to always be attached to it on some level, right? Um, yeah, and nines cluster together. Yeah, it's just really neat. So there's a lot of really cool videos that you can watch. So yeah, I guess that's about it. I just wanted to make a short video explaining what that section was in my art page. And yeah, cheers. Love you guys. Peace. Hey guys, I just wanted to mention also um, that all of this work that Rodin has discovered, all this equation that Rodin has discovered is actually open source. Um, so he's made it available to the public. And Yeah, so 
he found he discovered this information and he's giving it to us um, to do with it what we will there you know it is a source of free energy um, Tesla actually discovered it as well and so that's how you know he created um, free energy so yeah I just wanted to mention that also there's a really cool video that you guys can check out as well um, done by Andrew Media Nebula I don't know anyway yeah it's a really cool video you can actually see how the numbers work So yeah, um, alright, cheers, love you.